Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. We're heading to 1008 Simmons Street, which is where, according to the computer that we saw at Midwich High School, is where Cheryl is last recorded to have moved to, from Levin Street to Simmons Street. So heading there, see if we can find Cheryl. We're in some, some sort of office building here. I don't remember what it's called. Looks like we're probably gonna be heading through to Luca Mall to get up here. Probably exit out there, judging by the map. Oh, yes, and one thing, by the way. When I was looking over one of the last few episodes, I saw that, uh, remember when we were looking at the computer in the, the principal's office or whatever, where we got the, the Simmons Street address for Cheryl? Remember the computer screen got all glitched out, but we could see the address and then it actually showed the screen for a second or two and then went away from it? So not really long enough to get all the details on the screen, but of course, in post, I can just freeze the frame and, and look at what's there. And I found this phone number for Cheryl, I think. Now, I know that during that cutscene that um, Harry actually dialed a number. I'm assuming this number. And we ended up getting Dahlia. So maybe this is just Dahlia's phone number. I don't know, but let's try it. Yeah, it's a Dahlia. Now I'm wondering what's going to happen when we call Dahlia. Ah, oh, just get the answering machine. Okay. Oh. Michelle. Hey, Harry. Michelle here. Hope you made it home okay. I'm still waiting for John. What a weekend. Oh, Michelle, that's the name of the person who's been kind of, I guess, chaperoning us? Is that really the right word? I don't know. They took us to the, the Balkans nightclub and we took their SUV, kind of stole it, basically. Remember, Michelle just sort of disappeared, at least to us. They disappeared to them. I guess we disappeared, similarly to what happened with Sybil Bennett. Hope you made it home okay. Still waiting for John. Kalukamal Logistics Reevaluation Schedule. All the different corridors. What does the green mean? I don't know. Who cares? Boring business stuff. Is that a dog toy? Synthetic femur. <laughs> Synthetic femur. That's a hell of a name for a dog toy. Someone here? Well, if there's a password, I'm gonna guess it's 44444444. This music's sort of jazzy. It's not creepy at all. exited out here. So we're up off the road, right? Yeah. Maybe that's a parking garage over there? This is like a walkway to come to the store? 
To the mall, I mean. I assume we can just go inside of the mall. But first, let's go back here. That's right, I could have gone in this door, but I chose not to, so now I'm just exploring that area. There's just nothing in here at all. Yeah, just back out to the street. Lisa. Oh, shit. I think I just hung up or something. Lisa? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I woke up. I had a terrible dream. Blood everywhere. Oh God, Harry! Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. Please hurry! Waypoint added. That's where I just came from. And we got some dramatic music, so we gotta hightail it back there, don't we? Um. Fuck! The same thing's gonna happen to, or a similar thing's gonna happen to Lisa in this game as it happened in the first, right? It sounds like. Are they going to realize that they're just like them and then turn to blood and... Oh, fuck. I like Lisa, don't kill them again. Let me just double check. We are heading back, right? Yeah, just right back there. Okay. Uh, easiest way to get there, probably just directly back the way I came. Probably not to go through the parking garage. Well, um... No, let's go this way. I doubt there's actually a time limit, but there might be. You never know. This way? This way to the left, I think. Or maybe directly ahead. Yeah, directly ahead. Lisa? No! Don't move. No. This isn't what... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You bastard. I didn't... Shut up! I know you're not Harry Mason! We're not Harry Mason? 
Huh. Well, I'll wait to find more about that. Um, yeah, same damn thing happened to Lisa. Sort of. Definitely a callback. The blood just kind of coming out and then they die. Lisa's always doomed to die. I'm sorry. I wonder why the ice freezing happens at dramatic moments. I mean, there's got to be some reason for that. Right, like suddenly this... Well, it's called Shattered Memories. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Obviously our memory is pretty shattered, but the whole shattered part also has to do with the ice and things being broken. So a little bit of our memory came back, I think, when Sybil said that I know you're not Harry Mason. And that triggered everything freezing. Is that Harry's like defense mechanism kicking in? Like they don't want to remember? I mean, I don't think this whole thing is just a dream or something though. This is Silent Hill. Maybe it's Harry's emotions manifesting in Silent Hill physically. Oh boy. Alright, where are we going? Up there. Oh, so into Toluca Mall. Well, it shouldn't be too hard, provided I don't have to, like, take pictures at three points around the map or something. I hope I don't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot, everything changes. I can't go the same way. Okay. inside of the mall now. I saw the Toluca mascot. I've stayed alive an amazingly long time. I hope I'm heading the right way, though. access north? Do I want to go down here? I don't know. It's weird that it's been so long since I've seen a monster. Okay. I'm definitely supposed to be here. Wow. I'm not going to say, like, I made it because I'm not done, but, like, I made it through a big section of that in my first try. I'm getting pretty good at this. Gumballs. We'll be back as soon as we can, but we've got lots of shopping to do. 
Yes, I won't forget. Why are you shouting? Yes, she's here. Can I have some bubble gum? Sure. Here, sweetie. I can't buy your gum. Stop being ridiculous. No, I don't want all colors. I want my favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? I won't tell. Ah, it's a secret. Just a minute. I know the secret. I saw you looking up at Tuki. I'm <laughs> right, aren't I? My favorite. Saw you looking up at Tuki. That's got to be the toucan? The the bird? The mascot? Right, their beak had multiple colors and stuff. I don't remember what those colors were, though. Okay. Idea that I want to throw out there. If this isn't Harry Mason, that I mean, what I said before about whoever this person is being the teacher that was having a relationship with one of the students. That could still absolutely be true. Not being Harry doesn't change that at all. If anything, it gives me a new idea. What if Harry took someone else's ID, assumed someone else's identity, because, well, uh, I think it's pretty obvious that they got caught having a relationship with a student and probably did some jail time, probably got put on a sex offender's registry, etc., etc. Pretty good motivation to have a different identity. Don't even have to put coins in, you just get free gumballs. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, I see. You can you can shake it up to get different gumball colors. That is so weird and nonsensical. It, look at what happens to the gumballs inside, because they're not actually separate balls, of course. That'd be too many. Too many polys, you know? Too many balls. Instead, it's just like a jiggly... I don't know, mass. Like a bunch of frozen gumballs <laughs> that have all stuck together. And it sucks the old ball up and then just deposits a new one. That is so weird. Uh, how do I get rid of these? Maybe I'd need to, like, go all the way and then they disappear. Oh, it just kicks them out. Okay. Easy enough. So, I probably need the four colors of the beak of the bird. I could just go look at the footage. But no, let's not do that. Oh, here it is. Uh, quick save. I, I'm, I'm using different quick saves to get it, so I'm not actually gonna like take a picture and get back alive. So I guess I'm sort of cheating a little bit, but I mean, come on, give me a break with these enemies and the fact that I can't even <laughs> shake them off. So uh, I'm just gonna take a picture of them with my camera, my physical real world camera. Okay, so the tip of the beak is purple. That's the one I've got here. Then next closer to the face is pink, and the next one is orange. Is there even an orange in here? It's just cycling through the same ones, isn't it? It does green twice. It's just the same sequence of them. If there's no orange, then what do I do? Interesting. So you just ignore the yellow. Weird. Or no, sorry, I mean you ignore the orange. You just skip the orange and then do the yellow. That is... That is very strange. Huh. Or maybe that one there is supposed to be red for some reason? Maybe, like, its body is red? I'm looking at the picture though, it doesn't... I mean, it's all, like, the statue's all faded. I don't know. Anyway, it worked. Come on, let's go. We haven't got much time to stop. Why not? It's Saturday. Yeah, but we need to get back to help Mom. Mom sucks. Come on now, you know that isn't true. Done with the nightmare? 
experience. Hey girls, welcome back to Toluca Mall, home of the experience. What for you're looking for, we have it here. The latest fashions, the greatest salons, top eats, and the latest movies. Feel like a princess for a day, every day, here at Toluca Mall. Girls love shopping, come... Come inside? We work you good. Okay. So eerie. Being inside of such a large space with so many things that are just abandoned. You know, normally there'd be dozens and dozens and dozens of people in a place like this. But now it's just empty. Fashion man. Tailored suits and male apparel. Not the fanciest cars to have on the showroom floor. I guess if they were fancy, they probably would have taken them and not just left them here to rot. Problem child. Malcolm, doing my round. I saw her again. I, uh, I, uh. Ah, shit. You know, I, I guess I can say this. I turned my back when she took something. Pretended I didn't see it. Why? I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I feel sorry for her. Last time, when, when we grabbed her, when we were talking to her. I don't know. There was so much sadness in those eyes. I felt sorry for her. Wouldn't surprise me if they're talking about Dahlia. Maybe Cheryl? But probably Dahlia. The family pet. There's fish alive in here? Fish. Family pet? I'm looking for a dog. Here. Oh, you, you're looking for that dog? No, no, no. Or, uh, not this dog. One that looks the same. Exactly the same? Right. You're in luck. Another The Experience. Store managers and retail staff, it's been another great month at Toluca Mall, but we're not stopping yet. The job of providing the sh perfect shopping experience is never done. This month we are focusing on customer emotions. Random mystery shoppers will be deployed to ensure that each store in the mall is focusing on lifting the mood of their customers. Always remember, you're not here to sell, you're here to make people happy. The happier they are, the more money they will spend. Stores who fail to satisfy our mystery shoppers will be contacted by the brand manager. Keep putting smiles on those faces. The experience. Ooh. 
a safe. Wait, where is it actually pointing? Uh, I guess the top? Oh, look at that little golem boy. Just a big blob. Every little girl's dream. Oh, that's so weird. There's actual snow on the mini TV. Oh, there's something in the train. Could change tracks too. Probably needed to go on this track that goes closer. And then, oh, looks like it comes to a stop here. Comes to a crash. Can I get it here without crashing it? Nope. that for this door. Hmm. It is, which probably means this safe is optional. Oh no. Don't hold your own head. Finally, this super cute dollhouse has arrived. Another little golem boy. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, wait. I was gonna look around, but maybe it's on here. Toy automobile recalled due to choking hazard. Name of product, Red Hot Racer. Uh, fun and Games Toy Paradise Fun Jr. are the distributors. Description, 3-inch red plastic sports car, flame motif alongside. Hazard, front wing mirrors can break, posing a choking hazard to children. Immediately take the recalled product away from children. Return the place of purchase for full refund. Recall hotline. We got a number. Hello, and welcome to the Evan Shell Toy Recall Line. To determine if your product is included in the current recall, Please listen to the following information. The affected toy is the Red Hot Racer miniature car. The affected toys were assembled by a specific subcontractor during a limited time frame. Please look at the underside of the toy and check for a six-digit alphanumeric code on the base of the car, such as 3255RX. If this code begins with the numbers 42, 43 or 46, then your product is included in our recall program. Please store the toy in a safe place and call back during office hours to arrange a refund. Here at Evans Shell, of paramount importance to us is the safety of the children who play with our toys. We value the trust of the families who have chosen to make our toys part of their lives and always respond immediately to any issues that pose a potential threat, however small. I think the password of the safe is one of the numbers, probably that serial number, 32 whatever whatever, in that message that we just heard from the toy recall line. But I can't open the safe, and at first I thought it's because there's something very very funky with the safe, but then I realized it's a quirk of my motion controls. So here's what's going on. My ability to tilt is limited to, limited to a max of 180 degrees in any one direction. So starting from this point, from zero, the most I can turn it to is 180 degrees, which takes me to like, hold on, doesn't want to cooperate. 
takes me to here. That's 180 degrees if you look at the little hand. So I can only go from 0 to 50. And it, when I go to grab it again, it leaves me in the last position that I was at. So I can't like grab it, turn it 180, and then let go, and then grab it again and turn it another 180 the same direction. I can't. This is already maxed out at 180, so I can't go any more in that direction. I have to go just back. So I'm just limited to this tiny range, which isn't going to allow me to open this thing. Whoops. I checked the controls, by the way. I can't make it do more than 180. That's the max. Won't do 360. And I can't think of any way to make the tilt controls work a different way. Uh, so I'm just going to hope to God that that's a bonus thing and not required. I got the key to leave this place, so I probably don't need whatever's in the safe. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head out here. <laughs>